Was this former NFL running back originally going to be the one to utter the famous catchphrase, I'll be back? Or is this one rumor that needs to be terminated? Now, don't take this the wrong way, but you are a Terminator, right? Yes, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. On April 11th, O.J. Simpson's family took to social media to announce that the controversial public figure passed away on April 10th. Simpson's cause of death has been reported as prostate cancer. With Simpson's death in the news, there have been plenty of remembrances about his time in the NFL, his pop culture appearances, and of course, the court case often dubbed the trial of the century, in which Simpson was accused of murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman. One newsy aspect of Simpson's long and complicated life has been the persistent rumor that he was the original choice to play the Terminator in James Cameron's groundbreaking sci-fi franchise before former Mr. Olympia and future governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So what's the deal with this rumor? and who started it? Turns out, it all originated from an unlikely place. In 2019, Schwarzenegger told The Independent that director James Cameron initially wanted the famous NFL running back and Naked Gun star to play the lead role, saying, "...it was actually O.J. Simpson that was the first cast Terminator. Somehow, James Cameron felt that he was not as believable for a killing machine. So then they hired me. That's really what happened." Apparently, that's not really what happened. Cameron himself told the Los Angeles Times that same year that Schwarzenegger's story was completely without merit. Cameron told the outlet, "...O.J. Simpson was never in the mix at all. That was rejected out of hand before it ever got any traction." According to Cameron, the co-founder of Orion Pictures, Mike Medavoy, Orion being the studio that went on to distribute The Terminator, was the one behind this idea. Cameron said it was immediately shot down, retrospectively calling Medavoy's pitch, quote, "...the stupidest thing we'd ever heard in our lives." Ultimately, The Terminator became one of Schwarzenegger's most iconic performances, if not the most iconic in the actor's entire career. And it seems like it was always going to be that way. In 2023, Cameron reiterated this during an interview with Chris Wallace on The Journalist's show Who's Talking to Chris Wallace. Very early on, a highly placed person at one of the two studios that funded that film had a brilliant idea and called me up and said, "'Are you sitting down?' I said, "'Well, no, I'm not.'" He continued, I said, are you sitting down? <laughs> O.J. Simpson for the Terminator. I said, I, I actually think that's a bad idea. Not only that, but Cameron says that Schwarzenegger's story about receiving a painting of the Terminator that originally featured Simpson is totally fake, too. Schwarzenegger apparently claimed that if you scratched at the artwork, you could see Simpson's face underneath his in that same interview with The Independent. Didn't go anywhere. I think it's historically interesting. In his Los Angeles Times piece, Cameron said, "...let me correct that right now. Arnold is literally just wrong. I know it's hard to imagine. You don't argue with Arnold. I didn't make the painting for him. I made the painting for us, for the production of him as the Terminator. There's no OJ under that painting." 